made you decide to leave Germany? What, what, what was I waiting for? What was there for me? I mean, I didn't want to go in my father's business. You know, that wasn't for me. But uh, what was I going to do? And I had very few, fr I mean, I still had a few Gentile friends, but there was nothing. You couldn't go to theater, you couldn't go here. It, it, it was nothing. So you have to, when you're that age, you have to look for what you want to do in the future. In fact, uh, for a while there, I really wanted to go to Israel because uh, people said, you know, in America, they have anti-Semitism anti too. And I thought, gee, I'm tired of that. I'd like to go to Israel where all the people are Jewish and uh, I won't be a second-class citizen. But then all this business problem with the Arabs turned up and I thought, my God, I go from the frying pan into the fire. So that's when I decided to come to America. My grandfather, who had lived in the country all these years, he had to sell his house. Sell, you know, for giveaway like. And, uh, my parents couldn't take him in because they already had lost their apartment and they were doubled up with another family. Which grandfather was this? My father's father. He's the only with longevity because he lived to be either 84 or 86. So when he lost his house, they had to put him in an old age home. He lasted six months because he was a loner and he spent his days puttering around in his garden and uh, he didn't uh, interact with people very often or very much and being ca incarcerated there I mean he could come and go but being in a place like that he lasted six months. And what happened to the rest of your family? Well they just vegetated until one day uh, and you know I got a letter saying well can't you help us get get tickets and all this and that but nothing helped and then one day that was it they were deported. What year was that? I'm trying to think. I was married already. Probably 42, I'm not sure now. Where were they deported to? The, the, to Poland. To, uh, uh, I think some of them, they were both in Auschwitz and my sister and my brother and